name is Hussain. I am a uh, orthopedic trainee in the London Stanmore rotation. Um, we, I've done this project as a core surgical trainee in East Kent hospitals in Queen Elizabeth, Queen Mother Hospital with Abed Assad, um, Milan Kazira, and uh, Mr. Georgios Arialis. And it's titled Effectiveness of um, Platelet Rich Plasma in the Treatment of Recalcitrant Shoulder Pathology. So the background of this topic is that um, there are many patients who suffer from various chronic shoulder pathologies um, and pain, and um, there's actually very few uh, selection of treatment management options for these patients. Um, and some of these conditions include things like uh, partial and full supraspinatus tears, uh, degenerative shoulder disease, uh, AC joint impingement, chronic capsulitis, and and um, proximal humerus fractures which have healed and um, a lot of these patients have ongoing pain for a long period of time and the current uh, treatment modality and um, algorithm that most people use is they start with trying to do simple analgesics with some physiotherapy to try and get as much as they can out of the patient um, and if that doesn't work um, some people will try steroid injections and following on from that, they try surgical management in the form of repairs or replacements and that sort of thing. Um, and it, it tends to do a reasonable job. Um, but the the issue with, with um, going into surgical management for a lot of these patients is that despite um, repairing the tear surgically, 10% still have unsatisfactory outcomes with ongoing pain, stiffness and weakness. Um, the ma majority of patients with chronic shoulder pain consist of an elderly population and um, they have a high risk of uh, undergoing surgery. So anything we can do uh, that is non-surgical uh, to avoid them needing a procedure is actually a very helpful thing because A, um, it reduces time in theatres, it, it allows for the patients who really need procedures to have them because there's more operating capacity. And, um, and again, it doesn't put them at risk of having to go through a procedure. So one thing that was, uh, we were doing in, in QEQM hospital was uh, using platelet-rich plasma um, following steroid injections to see if the, some patients could be discharged without having to proceed to surgical management. And um, essentially that, what that is, is when we uh, take a sample from the patient's bloods and uh, we use a centrifuge to isolate the platelets and re-inject it back into the joint to see if that benefits the patient in terms of their pain and their function. Um, so the objectives of this um, study was to assess the outcomes of the platelet-rich plasma injections for these patients and to see um, if patients who had had steroid injections um, would still benefit from a platelet-rich plasma injection. And the way we did this was by doing a retrospective analysis of patients who were treated for various uh, shoulder pathologies between October 2018 to March 2019. And anyone who received a steroid injection or a platelet-rich plasma injection was included in the study. Um, we got a number of 15 patients in the platelet-rich plasma group, group and um, the all of their diagnosis were confirmed by an MRI scan. Five of them had partial supraspinatus tears slash disease. Three of them had full tears. Five of them had AC joint impingements. Uh, one had a previous proximal humerus fracture and one had adhesive capsulitis. Um, after the PRP injection, uh, we managed to discharge five of those patients, five of those 15. So we reduced the surgical workload by a third. Um, three of those patients had partial supraspinatus tears one had uh, the, the adhesive capsulitis patient and the, surgical, the previous surgical neck of humerus fracture. Um, so all of these patients benefited from the platelet-rich plasma injection. Um, and of these five, three of them had had a previous steroid injection, which had not worked. The remaining 10 had ongoing issues. Um, so four of them were listed for shoulder replacements, three had uh, cuff repairs done, and three of them were still being seen in clinic. Um, so the patients who had only had a steroid, um, 
that we found 15 patients, eight of them were partial supraspinatus tears, four had full supraspinatus tears, two had uh, a greater tuberosity fractures, and one had a hill sex lesion. Uh, from that group, they'd only received a steroid and six of them were discharged from follow-up and three of those were partial supraspinatus tears, two of them were the greater tu tuberosity fractures and one was a full thickness supraspinatus tear. Um, so as you can see, doing injections before jumping to surgical management can reduce the surgical workload by a lot. Uh, we lost one patient to follow-up and the remaining eight uh, were still being followed up at the time of the study. So um, what, what the uh, results show is that there's no patients who suffered any complications from either the injections or the steroids, uh, but mind you, this is a small study, um, but you can see that it's quite a safe procedure to undertake. Um, it's a, a good management option for chronic shoulder pain, and as, especially we found a lot of um, use in the partial supraspinatus tears um, both with a steroid injection and a PRP injection, we managed to discharge most of those patients without having to proceed to surgical management. Um, and as you can see, we first discharged 40% within the first step at steroid injection and a further 33% at PRP injection. It's cheaper than an operative management, can reduce surgical workload and decrease theatre demands, and it's, it's much safer for the elderly shoulder patient, which is quite a significant amount of shoulder patients. Um, the, this is a small study, it's important to note, and, and most of the information that we found was on patients who had a supraspinatus tear on MRI scan. We only found that one patient benefited from injection therapy with a full thickness tear, which suggests that most um, patients with a full thickness tear will uh, probably require something um, in, in the form of surgical intervention. The conclusions of our study was that injection therapy remains an important part of management of the management pathway of a chronic shoulder pain patient and um, PRP can improve outcomes in a significant proportion of these patients and avoid complex surgical management. Thank you.